Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well, I hope your weekend's going well so far. If you're new here, hi, I'm Melanie and I do food hauls. Once a week I do a weekly food haul. At the moment it's been Asda and Aldi. I start in Aldi and end in Asda. This week, A, firstly I'm going to apologise about the cooker. To be honest, I'm not bothered it's dirty this week because I'm not very well. My head's killing me and I just want to get this video done. But secondly, because I'm not well, I've walked around the shop, don't know what I've picked up, don't know if I've got enough for a week. I do have some stuff in the freezer that I checked that I had last night. So I've got a curry from last week, if you watched the last video, the curry that I got from Asda is currently in the oven. Um, and I've got some like corn and Linda McCartney stuff in the freezer that I'm gonna be eating on three of the days. I mean, there's more, there's enough for more than three days, but I'm obviously, you know, it's making, I'm making it last. Um, but I was shocked to find some of the things in there. I've obviously bought them at some point. So I didn't need that much for myself, but I don't know what I've got. Now, Aldi came to 64.82, but about 20 of that is towards Christmas stuff, which you'll see as I show it to you. And as there was 52.88. So I'm gonna start here. Because I've got a banging headache, I forgot to get custard. I normally get the Alpro one from Asda. It's like 85p, um, and I just forgot. I remember being in that section, thinking there's something that I want, and I couldn't remember. So, I mean, I don't. it's got next Friday's date on, so if I don't get any before next Friday, I can have them next Friday, but hopefully I'll get to the shop at some point so I can have them. Rican potato soup, which shouldn't be here. It should have gone with the person that lives here because they meet me when I come on with the shopping and they help me carry it in. They've also taken a bunch of bananas from Asda, a bag of pears from Asda, a smoked salmon and cream cheese sandwich from Aldi, a Asda Essentials chili con carne ready-made meal, and a pasty from Aldi. Oh, and a fake pot noodle and chicken and mushroom from Aldi. So that's what's missing. So I saw these, I was like, they're super cute, I've got to get them. So this will be for two meals for me with something, probably some vegetables or something like that. Breaded chicken Christmas trees, I just thought they were cute and they only take 15 minutes, so that's perfect. Sorry about the lighting as well, it's 20 to 4 so it's getting a bit dark. I mean it's lighter than it was last week when I filmed. Chicken Le Feuf Parfait, um, might like it, I might not, if I don't, the person that I live with will. I couldn't get turkey bacon in Asda today, so this will be going on bagels a couple of days if I like it. Corn beef for the person that I live with if they want a sandwich, because they keep having either cheese or peanut butter. So I've got that, it's got a good date on, so if they don't eat it straight away, it's fine. Six pack of bagels. I've got a big pack of bacon, because I didn't know if they had any left or not. I won't eat this, but I got them that. I got myself a mash. I got them cauliflower cheese in case they want something different. Salt and vinegar pop outs. Two basic zero milk advent calendars, they're a pound. Some lentil chips in barbecue flavour, it's a six pack. I saw someone get these the other day. They, I don't know if they liked them or not, but I thought, oh, I'll see, but my Audi's got them. They come in a big bag as well, do you know, it's like a sharing bag. But these are better because if you open a sharing bag, they don't last as long as they should. I just got a meat feast for the person that I live with because I've got a curry in the oven. Um, I got these chicken kiosks for them this week. They were more expensive, but they're gonna be better. Two sourdough breaded wild garlic and Jersey butter chicken kiosks. I mean, I'd probably like them. And I also got them the chicken mini fillets in Hunter's, like Hunter's chicken. That'll be for two days for them. I got a chocolate orange and then the, oh those shortbread i was going to get the tin one but the tin was like another two pound for not much more so i got them for that i am going to put other stuff with it for them they have a sweet tooth for the person that i'm buying that for i got them because sometimes i go on dog walks and i used to walk with a mini backpack because we're out for at least an hour and we're not just walking down the road like we're up and down hills and muddy fields and like really rough terrain and I can get quite thirsty and halfway round I normally have a drink. I have a drink before I set off because I don't go for, I don't walk from home, I walk from other places. I have a drink. Sometimes I have a bit of a drink before I leave the house. When I get there, I'll have some of my water. Halfway round I drink, but 
recently I've been wearing a big thick coat and the mini backpack that I normally wear is a bit too small to wear with the coat so I've not been having a drink I've just been drinking double what I'd normally drink before I set off on my walk but there's been days where I've been quite thirsty so I thought I'd get something like these to see if they help do you know like put a bit of moisture back in my mouth I mean they might not but I'll give it a try um, I like where it was original but I wonder if they do a sugar free one but these are handy because they're like this box size so I'm going to give them a go I got a basic paracetamol Oh, by the way, there is two things missing. I bought a tin of beans and a hand wash and I put it in the charity basket or the, the food bank basket. Um, because even if you can only get one item, it really helps people who are struggling because obviously it goes to the food bank and then people get food. So even if you can only afford the cheapest tin of beans or something like that, it does help. I almost picked up a third item, I was going to get a bottle of shampoo because everyone needs to wash the hair. I know when you people go to food banks, they get food and they try to give you stuff like, and I've not personally used a food bank, but I hope that if I ever need to, I hope that, you know, there are some things there that I like or that people do donate so people can get food. But I know they try to give out stuff so you've got something for breakfast and some for the main meals and sometimes they try and put some treats in like a bar of chocolate or a packet of biscuits and then they also try to put self-care items in like they might put a shampoo in and a, a shower wash um, a shower gel and toilet rolls so I was looking at the shampoos and I didn't know what to get so I think next time I'm going to get a shampoo and conditioner and a couple of items of food because it might cost me like three four pounds even less than three pounds um, actually I was going to get the shower gel so I think next time I'm going to get a shower gel I'm going to get a toothpaste, I'll probably get a packet of rice and some beans again because those things can go towards a food bag for someone. I mean there'll be weeks when I might be able to get more things but what I like about Aldi is the thing for the food bank, the majority of the time it's full and when I put the hand wash in someone had actually bought the same hand wash as me and there's like at least two people now get hand washes um, but there's all sorts of stuff in there so if you've got a spare 20p you can easily get something for 20p and I know everyone's struggling but even I can on a bad week could, could get more things um, at the moment there isn't one in Asda I don't know why but I always do a charity donation at the till you know if one comes up I always donate an amount on the till so going forwards from now on I'm gonna at least put two or three items in and try and make one a Christmas item like I could easily put a selection box in because there's children who, who are going to get stuff from these food banks like with the family so I might put like a selection box in or I might put like a pack of chocolate not chocolate Christmas biscuits in or something um, and that's what I'm going to do every week going up to Christmas but even after Christmas I'm still going to put a couple of items in every week even if it's only a tin of beans and a packet of rice or a shampoo and a bottle of drink I don't mean alcohol it's better than nothing so I got them because I ran out of all painkillers this week I had to raid the ones that I have some in my bag for when I walk the dog because I have got injured on dog walks and if I'm like 20 minutes into an hour, two hour walk, they do kick in after 20, 30 minutes. So I need to, I'm gonna put a strip of these in. I do prefer Panadol and I'm gonna put two Panadol in. So at least I do have Panadol which work a million times better. I just don't wanna put more Panadol in because I'm gonna need Panadol over the week. But next week I'll put some more Panadol in because I've been dipping into that bag for weeks. I took the last two out today, so I need to replenish them. Maltesers, these are gonna go through towards a gift not that gift another gift um two chocolate protein puddings there was absolutely no caramels i had a right good dig around there was hardly any vanilla ones so i just got one vanilla i got two chocolate protein mousses and that's how these done for now i got the basic panadol because the panadol i normally get is out of stock a lot i think people are cottoning on to how good it is and how little doses you need compared to cheap paracetamol. Nurofen, 
I got the chocolate biscuits that I like. I mean, you might want to see them if you've never seen them before. But they're the chock full. They're about one forty, but they're worth every penny. I got the fibre one, strawberry. Oh no, I got the wrong ones. I got red velvet. I don't like these as much. Oh, yeah, they were the same price. They were actually in the wrong aisle. Yeah, they were one fifty. I don't like them as much, but that's my own fault. Pack of twirls, some water biscuits. I got six chocolate rice cakes. I got her the Wag Tasters this week because she still has a full pack of the banana and peanut butter cookies. And she's got one of those bags open as well. There's only a couple left in that. She's already had one of these, the Buffalo Wild Flavour Sticks, which she loves. She's still got a few of these strips left, she likes them. She prefers the chunky the chunky ones but she likes them as well dental sticks again the brussels sprouts that you have to chop yourself they were really bad quality so i had to get them but these aren't the greatest i got some ginger i actually had to go shop yesterday for some ginger an orange lucas aid and what was the other thing a red pepper ginger because i have hot honey lemon and ginger and i forgot to get lemons but i have two old lemons that i'm need using quickly um because i'm not well hot honey lemon and ginger is great so i'm going to make one when i put all the shopping away tempura white fish goujons i didn't know if i had enough food for myself for the week but these have got next saturday's date on so i can have them friday or saturday or i can do them if i don't have them bananas for me um fruity tea cakes are still an offer for 115 hovis hovis I was going to go Holby's Toasty, it's not Holby's Toasty, didn't need this but I thought I did but we've got one now, um, cheese oat cakes, washing up liquid, I nearly called it peanut butter then, I got a Dr Pepper Zero, hot dogs for the dog, I've got two of these because it's free for two so I basically got one of the drinks free, this is from Aldi, I was meant to drink this but it's a bit late now. Um, I got this one and the purple one last week. I preferred this one. I should have got two of these. I got the normal Dark Thunder, one ZX Cola because I've still got two. I don't think they're liking it as much as they're making it out to be. Um, so I might get them Pepsi Max next week. So I got them this as one of the Christmas presents. They've not seen it. I got an Aldi Christmas book a few weeks ago and they had a few single malt whiskies. Now, they absolutely love malt whiskey. I mean, to me, it's, it tastes like paint stripper. And their favourite is Glen Fiddick, which is 30 odd quid. You can get it on offer. And I was looking through the book and they had about four single malts. And I was reading the descriptions. And this was actually the cheapest one. There was three at this, this price, 16 99 And then there was one that was 22 23 99 something like that. But from reading the description, this was the nicest one. And it's the type of flavours that were in um, Glen Fiddick. So that's why I got this. If the more expensive one was the better one, I would have got that one. So I hope they like this. It's one of the presents. It's not the main presents to go with the main present with some other stuff. So, and also the cheaper ones from this range, they only had one or two each in my Audi, but they had quite a lot more of the more expensive one. So I don't know if the cheaper ones are selling out or they're not, there's not a much demand, but this is going to be a good one and it's, the space side single malt i think i got the right one i got three almond milks from asda and i didn't need three because i've not been drinking protein shakes but i'm gonna my protein powders should be here next week so i'm gonna go back on them seven sparkling apple and mango waters four highland spring because i'm literally on the last bottle and then i got two lots of broccoli i think i've got one in the fridge as well three brown onions a butternut squash Six orange juice lovers which are in the freezer and these are the toilet rolls we're being forced to get now the shades and by the way it doesn't equate to eight like it's claiming and that is everything that i got this week if you have any questions about anything let me know in the comment section any suggestions of things that you might think that i like um leave them down below um any suggestions that of things that you might think i should get for the food bank Obviously, I'm, I'm going to get stuff that's long life. I'm not going to put something fresh in there. But if you've ever had stuff from a food bank and, like, you always hope for something, like, 
soup or green beans or mushy peas or a curry sauce or something let me know um, if there's something that you've always wished you'd got but you've never got or you got once and you've wished you'd gotten again let me know and I'll add something like that to it but I'm not just going to get baked beans and stuff but baked beans is a good staple as so is rice I mean I might get a pack of rice that they can cook or do you know those ball in the bag ones because I get them I might get one, a box of them because they're relatively cheap but I'm going to try to get a couple of foodie items every week and also some self-care stuff so like this week I got a hand wash next week I'm probably going to get a couple of shower gels and I am going to try and put a Christmas item in every week leading up to Christmas as well so any suggestions let me know and I hope you have an amazing week and I'm sure I'll be back next week with another food haul thank you for watching